Hey, so your name is Tati back again with another video. In today's video, we will be doing a little analyzation of a fan-made clip, okay? I have not watched it all the way through yet. Yes, I got my memory card back, you know, after I bought a new one. All right, so I'm finally making analyzation videos again. Um, but yeah, this is a video that I <laughs> am nervous to play because I don't know what it's about. I just know that the first screen... <laughs> I just know that the first scene is Caitlyn. I don't know if this is a fan made video or an anti fan made video or a truth video, but um, from the title, you'll be able to tell. Let's press play. I mean, you're gonna turn into Killer Frost. I think <laughs> oh my god, yeah, who made this video ain't a fan. Let's just tell already by the cringiness of the scene. Oh Lord. Not cute little Caitlyn. Not cute little Cha Cha Hill Caitlyn girl. Oh my God. Okay girl let's get into it. I don't want to do this but let's get it. I said I was going to do it. Let's do it. Girl terrible. I remember watching that and thinking that scene was so terrible. Terrible. You know what? Let's pause. Let me be truthful. Um, if I'm gonna be completely honest, the CW. Look, I think that especially now, nowadays, like for instance, a show like Riverdale. I feel like the CW definitely goes um, after looks over talent. You know, I, I definitely think that. Um, and it, it, it especially shows a lot now with all these new shows coming. Um, I think that The Flash is number one and will always remain number one is because the actors that they that they have working on their show can actually act. Um, obviously, there's some people who are stronger than others. <laughs> obviously. Um, but there has to be some type of growth, you know? Um, like the Carlos from season one is definitely different from the Carlos from season six. The Candace from season one is is different from the Candace in season six. And, and, and so is Grant and, and yep, that's about it. <laughs> I'm not being a hater. I'm just saying that the scenes that they've decided to pick for this video is all terrible scenes done by Danielle Panabaker. I'm sorry. I feel like she's done. I feel like she's done way better as Killer Frost than she has ever done as Caitlyn. Uh, they're just not showing that. They're just not displaying that in this video. And um, I'm not about to be a hateful ass. I'm really not. I'm just going to say that the, the, the clips that they chose to put in this video are terrible. And that was their point. I feel like Danielle Panabaker has had better scenes. Yes said that but these are trash bagash see that one wasn't that bad she was supposed to be like hysterical and like high high on like some or something oh now this one they all they had to do was show this one this one was by far <laughs> No, whoever directed this scene, girl, walk him like a dog. <laughs> Eat some killing bits, girl, because you was wrong for that. You was the director on this episode. What was it, season three, episode, like, what, five? Yeah, episode five, I believe. Yeah, five, because seven was her standalone. Or was it 12? Who cares? Um, But yeah, when she went to go see her mama, and then she was like, girl, I'm, I'm a meta human, da 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 That's when she thought she was one. But yeah, she did this little scene. Now, this is one of the worst scenes in Flash history to me, acting-wise. Um, now, now, this scene was laughable. Like, I really, I really... Because <laughs> I, I remember actually watching this live and saying, like, wow, that was terrible. Like, whoever the director is of this episode, you wrong for that. Because everybody else did a great job except for this scene. Like, everything else was, like, pretty much flawless except for this scene. And I feel like, like, come on. Like, you didn't call her back behind the monitor like, hi, hey, come here. Let's, let's look at yourself. Let's see. You like this? You think? <laughs> like, you think this is okay? You know? Like, why didn't he... I don't know. We don't, but then again, we don't 
don't know how many texts she done already and he was and we don't know girl but this one was terrible i remember the black guy got jealous of her or something like that i don't know he was just like no we're gonna work on you we're gonna study you you're staying right here and she was like i said let me go or whatever <laughs> And then her mama came and said, Caitlin, this isn't you. She was like, you don't know anything about me, mother. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. That was amazing. <laughs> Girl, I'm really not trying to hate on her, but this is the point of the video. Like, I like dang it. front is giving it's just the, the thing about it is i feel like grant and candace have never had a hit or miss but everybody else has like if i could watch a tv show and tell that you're acting you're not doing your job but you get paid regardless so my opinion doesn't matter at the end of the day you getting you cashing your check regardless but when it comes to again when it comes to the cw i feel like they always put pick looks over talent um anyway but yeah i felt like this scene was good yeah that was terrible okay. see they keep it. girl now this is now i love this scene shut the fuck up. shut the fuck up. i love this scene okay i don't care what nobody all day mama say this was my favorite scene of caitlin that bitch did that shit. She did that. She worked that camera, girl. I don't care what nobody got to say. She did it. Giving life. Oh, this is another one. Look, eyes are glossy, very much glossy. I don't see why they put that. I, don't, I honestly don't. Let's pause. I honestly don't know why they put the one where she was uh, holding on to something for dear life. I thought that was pretty standard, straight to the point. Like, I don't understand why they put that part in it. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. Yeah, and that one wasn't bad either. You know, and the thing about it is, I feel like this video didn't prove anything because Caitlyn's character is not supposed to be the lead. Caitlyn slash Killer Frost is the only character who's had a standalone episode throughout the entire series who has had more than one. Only one. But yet, in that same sense, she's not the leading lady. And I want that lady, whatever that is, I don't know if she's still a writer or no longer on the show, but that lady was wrong on Twitter when they were saying that how do these writers think that Daniel Painterbaker and Candace Patton are both the leading ladies? That's not how it works. And it's not. Um, and she tried to defend it like, oh, I think Grant and Carlos are the leading men of the show. Fuck up. You sound stupid. If Kate, if, 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 if Danielle Panabreaker was really the leading lady of the show, Snowberry would have happened. If she really was, Snowberry, Snowberry would have been a thing. Snowberry would have happened if Danielle Panabreaker was really the leading lady of the show. If it was joint. Like, when have you ever had a joint <sighs> leading lady? That just... It made no sense. She was trying to defend something that she couldn't sign off on. That's what it was. But... No, I think that I tried to give Daniel Panabaker the benefit of doubt when she plays uh, Killer Frost and Caitlyn because the story is not about her. You know, she's a secondhand character from the protagonist. Like, it's 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 Barry, the villain of of the series, Iris, and then everybody else. So when it comes to Danielle's portray of Caitlyn Snow I think that she did the best with what she was given with like this is not a hate video this is not me you know trying to say she's talentless or anything like no the bitch is a child actress okay she has I'm pretty sure if I go to her IMBD page she has well over 20 credits okay let's not act like this bitch has not been acting since childhood like her and her sister and read it and weep and shit like that like let's not even act like this bitch is getting booked for a reason right um but then again, I feel like Caitlyn was a was a character that was just typical. And I feel like that's why writers never made her like the favorite to write for. Like I remember it was on Twitter and they were like, oh, who is your favorite character to write for? And Caitlyn was never one. So 
And I feel like it's because Kaylin is so like standard. She She's just like boring, to be honest. And I feel like that's why they gave her the Killer Frost alter ego. And I think that Danielle Pennebaker did a great, especially in season three, did a great job as Killer Frost. And I feel like Daniel Peter Baker has done a great job as uh as Kayla Snow she did the best that she was given with you know and so if she's adding quirky faces or you know trying to do you know something different let her do it. this 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 bitch pay uh this bitch, uh hourly wage is way higher than mine so why should I be a hate bitch now, did I laugh at Kiki with y'all? Hell yeah, the shit was funny. But at the end of the day, her 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 hourly is way higher than all of ours. <laughs> and and her 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 hourly and her yearly is way higher than anybody who created this video. Okay, <laughs> like let's not let's not even add. And I, I also feel like the reason why Danielle. Danielle um, Pennebaker's characters are so bad now is because they didn't the writers didn't give Killer Frost the arc that she needed. I felt the best that Danielle Pennebaker ever done was in season three. Ever season two the end of season two season three. Ever done. I feel like if they actually made her a villain and really paid attention uh, to Killer Frost in detail that she would be as big as Mira Iris is now. Because the, the thing that they did to Danielle Panabaker, they did it to Candace. It's just people pay more attention to Candace because she never had a standalone episode. She's never had nothing. So the fact that they finally gave her a storyline in season six was amazing. But they have given Danielle standalone episodes. It's just the only ones that have ever been good is when she turns bad. Why they didn't understand to give her an arc is on them. Why they didn't, why they didn't uh, give her a villain arc is on them. I thought that um, Daniel Pennebaker can, was great as evil. I thought she was amazing, especially with the, late, the lace front. The whole ensemble was great. Um, but yeah, girl, this is not no hateful ass video. I didn't come over here being mean. All I said was walk like a dog to the director, whoever directed episode five of season three, when she was like, you don't know anything about me, mother. And I was like, mm, woo, no, she don't. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I